morning good evening kevin good afternoon we got a banger for y'all today baby you got a reaction video to the what if channel as always i'm putting their youtube in the description these videos blow my mind especially this one what if we just lost a gravity for five seconds what if what have i ever thought that answer never until this video this video blew my mind i'm sure y'all are gonna love it kevin loved it see look at him it blew my mind thank you kevin for telling him that and when you also love it, drop a like on this, hit the subscribe button, comment down below some other what if ones you would love to see me react to. They have a ton of different videos on that channel, so let me know. But most importantly, be sure to tell somebody you love them. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Well, let's take a gander, shall we? I'm gonna guess what's gonna, if, I, if you lose gravity for five seconds, obviously everything's gonna float. Everything's gonna float and then everything's gonna come back down. So I'm pretty sure Unless you're like in a building. Well, wait, the building would float, right? Yeah, I think we're smoked. Yeah, I think we're falling. smoked. The sky is falling. That chicken little. Get a grip. <laughs> the sky isn't falling. It's getting sucked into outer space. <laughs> and Sorry, it's getting what? And so are all the oceans and the trees mm -hmm. and cars and roads oh, yeah, and the bridges ocean, the and water the water would go, right? And you. So get a grip and hold on tight. You're in for a wild ride. This is what if, and here's what would happen if we lost gravity for five seconds. I think the short Unless answer to an this astro. is we'd be smoked. You probably don't spend a lot of time thinking about gravity. True. We all take gravity for granted and it would be hard not to. Aside from a tiny sliver of the world's population, most humans don't know a life without gravity. From the universe, to our solar system, to each planet, all the way down to our own bodies, gravity holds everything together. But I, since we tend to see gravity as a given, about that. it's hard to imagine just how helpless we would be without it. <laughs> until it's actually gone. Gravity is an attractive force between any two masses. The greater the mass, the greater the gravity. The greater I already know what you're gonna say. The gravity, the stronger the pull. Gravity is the reason why Earth I got rotates a lot of gravity, around the sun, huh? why we experience high and low tide, and why we can walk on this planet without floating away. Gravity Most importantly, controls the tide. gravity secures our atmosphere, holding in the air we need to breathe. Oh wow! In yeah, fact, we'd be, there we'd be are really a lot smoked. of things we can thank gravity for. So many, though, that if we tried to list them all here, we'd probably end up with a video longer than Titanic. So just to give you an idea of how important gravity is in a really, really short amount of time, we're going to take it away from you, but not for too long. Okay. Just five seconds. Are you ready? Yes. With the world still spinning at its usual 1600 kilometer per hour speed, everything that isn't secured firmly to the ground would go flying. Cars, boats, yep. trains, planes. Well, obviously, but not like they normally do. More like this. The Earth spins faster along the equator, so the impact of zero gravity would be felt hardest there. At the equator- Here we are in Florida, man. Gosh dang it! You could experience winds almost six times stronger than the ones produced by Hurricane Katrina. Oh. That means that in just five seconds, you could be blown as far as 2.3 kilometers in any direction. Oh. And not just you. There will be plenty of people, objects, and animals to look out for. Not to mention <laughs> trees, soil, and mid-air floods from the world's ponds, lakes, rivers, and oceans. Mid-air floods. At That's the same time, the gases in the atmosphere would drift out into space. Mm. Not only are we now losing huge amounts of oxygen, but That's good. the sudden and sharp drop in air pressure would instantly shatter everyone's inner ears. Oh. And then there's the planet itself, which oh. is literally held yeah, together smoked, by gravity. And gentlemen. Without gravity, the pressure of the Earth's inner core would cause the planet to expand. It's not like five seconds without gravity would cause the world to explode, but even a five second expansion of the Earth's inner core would cause some major earthquakes and trigger huge volcanic eruptions. Add one more item to your list of dangerous things flying through the sky. 
Lava. This isn't physically possible, right? Just to be clear, just so I'm clear, Kevin, this isn't physically possible. Lava. <laughs> Out in space, the planets in our solar system that normally orbit the sun would instead start drifting away from it. Earth would follow its neighbors at a speed of 30 kilometers per second. In just five seconds, it would have traveled 150 kilometers. That's not far enough for our planet to- How far? 150 kilometers to miles. How far, how far is that? It's 93 miles in five minutes. Wow. To be out of the habitable zone, but wow. how habitable would Earth be after five deadly seconds without gravity? When gravity was restored, you'd hit the ground hard. If the impact didn't kill you, or if you weren't crushed by a heavy object, you would still be severely injured. My back. <laughs> oh, my back. Hopefully, you'd catch your breath in time with gravity pulling oxygen back down to Earth and bringing the atmosphere back around the planet. But there would still be earthquakes and volcanic eruptions as the Earth's core becomes compressed again. And there would still be massive flooding due to the significant displacement of the oceans. The number of casualties would be astronomical. Not just from flying debris, lack of oxygen, Wait. or simultaneous natural disasters, but because in those five seconds without gravity, the Earth's crust literally opened up and swallowed several major cities. So, yeah, a lot can happen in just five <laughs> seconds. And that just goes to show how essential gravity is to life on Earth and beyond. You know what I really appreciate this channel for? The What If channel? It's like, <clears throat> obviously it's crazy to hear all this stuff, right? But I, I really, like it makes you, and whenever I watch stuff on this channel, it always makes me like, A, appreciate the day to day, you know? When have I ever thought, oh, what if I'm gonna lose gravity? Yeah, you know, you don't think about that. and. How like they t how much they've talked about like the atmosphere, not atmosphere. Sorry, our universe. Like how small we really are, right? Earth is spinning right now. Like right now, when I'm recording this, bro, we're spinning through space, bro. You know what I mean? And it's just like one of those things where you don't really think about it. And then usually with these with this channel, I'll always sit there and think about it for a minute, and it just kind of like rocks my brain, dude. A little you like how much I take for granted. Special, and you most certainly are, but. Thank you. Just remember that you're part of something bigger than you, and that's what keeps you grounded. See, that's what I mean. But don't sink too low. Can you imagine how heavy you'd be if Earth's gravity doubled? Well, that's a story for another what if. I already know, bro. People in the comments would be like, can you imagine if Tim's gravity doubled, bro? That'd be like the heaviest. Like, stop, bro. All right. Lean 345 pounds.